Antiques Roadshow expert Paul Atterbury, who specializes in ceramics, architecture, design and decorative arts of the 19th and 20th centuries, has been a part of the hit BBC show since 1979. At the weekend, the team are in Roundhay Park, Leeds, where Paul heard the tale of the London bus that jumped over Tower Bridge. But did you know that Paul's mum was incredibly famous? Audrey Atterbury was a puppeteer who operated the iconic Andy Pandy puppet for the BBC show Watch with Mother in the 1950s. It is said that she based the character's appearance on Paul as a five-year-old boy. Paul is the owner of the only remaining Teddy puppet from the television series Andy Pandy that is not kept as part of a museum collection. This puppet was originally a gift to his mother. Talking about his mum, Paul shared, My mother was a great enthusiast and collector of Moorcroft China, and I learned a lot from her. We used to visit antiques fairs together simply because we had similar interests. Growing up with someone like my mother, a dedicated collector with wide vision, taught me a great deal. Paul lives in Dorset with his second wife, Chrissy, who he married in 2002. He once said about his home, we live in a really friendly village and are very happy to be part of the community. As incomers, people have been so kind to us. Dorset is a wonderful county to have as one's adoptive home. Each year, the couple spend a few months in Australia visiting family in Melbourne. When not on Antiques Roadshow, Paul gives lectures across the country and writes books. However, he said about his time on the show, appearing on the Antiques Roadshow is an important and enjoyable part of my life. It appeals to me because I like meeting people and hearing their stories. Even though the roadshow days are long and tiring, they are always exciting. Each item is a new challenge and a voyage into the unknown. In 2007, Atterbury appeared on Channel 4's archaeology series Time Team talking about Augustus Pugin. In 2009, he narrated BBC 4's documentary The Last Days of the Liners which looked at how countries competed to launch the most magnificent passenger ships on the great ocean routes after World War II.